Thank you for staying with us. It's still Plus Politics, and we're still looking at the crisis within the People's Democratic Party at the national level. And still talking with me is uh, Chairman Ikori, Local Government Area, uh, Samuel Wanosike, and the former Executive Director, of Public Affairs and Social Media to Edo State Governor Greg Ogogwa. Um, so I'm coming to you, Mr. Ogogwa, now because. Um, Samuel had had a lot to say about his state, and I, I, and I still ask the same question over and over again. We see a, a trend in many states across the Federation, whether it be APC or the PDP, once a particular person is the governor of a state and that state flies the flag of a certain party, local government elections are automatically given to those people in the party. And, and, Christ, uh, and Samuel was talking about conducting free, fair, and credible elections. If these elections are free, fair, and credible, where is the room for other smaller parties? Because those parties may not be big at the center, but they can be big in those little communities. Where is room for those parties to fairly participate and win elections. And we've seen many of these parties take parties like the PDP and the APC to court. So if the PDP is, is complaining about the fact that in Lagos State there is no fair play, is there fair play in PDP states? Now my other question for you, it's a two-pronged question so that you can answer it before we wrap things up, um, is if the PDP intends to win in 2023 and you were supposedly asked to be on that think tank, what would be the recommendations going forward? Because it looks more like the PDP is now becoming a regional party of sorts and it's not necessarily a national party as it should be anymore. Well, uh, okay, let, let's do it, let's do it uh, the same way you ask the questions, uh, one after the other. Okay, now, um, it's, the issue of representation, uh, the parties representing people from local governments upwards and so on, um, and the states determining um, who, who runs the local governments is a systemic issue. It's a very, very systemic issue. It's got a lot to do with fiscal uh, policies as well, you know, revenue derivation and all. But it has a lot to do with the very basis of our democracy. So when people talk about power sharing and so on, I always say to them, it's not enough to say, let's just, you know, do power sharing to regions or power sharing to local, to states. How about local governments and how about to individual clans and family units? So that's a totally different issue. It will take a whole one hour to go into that because it's a constitutional and very, very uh, uh, fundamental issue in politics. Now, but the, but, but the, but the, but the, main, the main thing is this. Um... Uh, the PDP, as it were, has, has, has the greatest experience in running Nigeria. It's had the longest period of time in governance, has uh, held uh, the presidency, at, you know, has held uh, state and, and local governments at, at the largest extent over the history of democratic rule in Nigeria since 1999. Now, they've lost a lot of that. And as a result of that, they've had to learn learn new things, learn new habits, learn, make, you know, make amends for the mistakes that we made during that period of time. And now uh, uh, we realize, so we can see from our vantage point, the mistakes that, we, that, that uh, the party in government is making. However, one of the things that we know we have not done is that we have not sold ourselves properly. We have not come up with our uh, new policies, with the lessons that we have learned while we were in exile, while we were in the wilderness. These are the lessons we have learned. This is how we're going to take Nigeria into the promised land. We have not been able to articulate that properly. And I think that that is one of the reasons why Prince Uche Sekondus is under so much pressure. Because truth be told, uh, Prince Sekondus is, is also a product of the previous uh, generation which is the generation that was uh, in, in, in uh, governance. So they did not learn how to be in opposition. Now that they're in opposition, they, uh, they probably do not have the skills of what a party in opposition should be like. Like my brother said, we have to be agile. We have to be very, very dexter. Uh, de 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 don't mind my English now. It's we okay. have to be de 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 dexterous. It happens, it, and, it happens you know, to the best of us. 
Yes, that's the word. And then, you know, we have to be able to quickly learn uh, from the mistakes that government is making and quickly offer new and innovative solutions to those same uh, uh, mistakes that they're making. We're not doing that right now. N nobody is saying that it is Prince Uche Secondus's personal uh, uh, faults or fallacies. It's also, it's a systemic thing. And just as uh, we know that generation by generation, not too young to run and all that stuff is coming along, we also have new ideas and new innovative policies and new innovative ways that which we can run political parties and new innovative ways that we can in, in bring in uh, big, you know, uh, uh, the women, the youth, the, uh, the, the, the uh, uh, rural dwellers, the pensioners and so on, disabled people, that we can bring them onto our fold, in, increase our inclusiveness as the People's Democratic Party as it should be. And as such, we need to explore those things in innovative ways. We need to think out of, out, out, outside the box. Okay. And, and what we're seeing is that what we're seeing is that the old executive doesn't seem to be doing so. So with due respect to them and everything, they did their best. But you know, we are stepping ahead into a new generation, and so we need to then also bring in a new fold of people who will lead the charge into the new generation, into the new, into the next level. All and right. then, uh, and we know that uh, the APC has failed so very woefully. Everybody sees that. All we have to do is to translate that failure into uh, electoral success for us at the next election. And well, I uh, believe that Nigeria, the Nigerian people know well enough to do so. Well, on that note, I want to thank you. Um, Greg Ogogwa is the former executive director and public affairs, social media to... Um, a do state governor, uh, and of course, um, Samuel Wanasike is the Query Local Government Chairman in River State. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for speaking with us. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate you as well. All right. Well, thank you all for staying with us uh, throughout the conversation. That's all we can give today. Tomorrow is another day. I am Mary Anna Cohn. See you. Have a good evening.